welcome if it is your first time joining or welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so very much for your support, for your views, for your likes. I am truly humbled. My name is Chastity and I'm an intuitive life coach and Reiki master. This will be the first of a seven part series around chakras. <laughs> I know it's a little geeky, but I love this stuff. But before we start, here's my disclaimer. Please do not use any of the information I share with you as medical advice or for self-diagnosis. The information I share with you will be anecdotal evidence, meaning it is based on personal and professional experience. It is based on feedback I have received from clients and on information that I've gathered from other practitioners. Please make sure to consult your licensed medical health providers for any individual needs that you may have. Now, are you ready to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop with the cheesiness. Let's get this party started. Every cell in the body is an energy point, but it is a lot easier to focus on major energy centers when we're talking about keeping things in balance. There are seven major chakras. In Sanskrit, chakras are wheels. So there are seven major spinning wheels of light in the body. And they include the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. If you have not had the opportunity to listen to the heart chakra meditation that I uploaded in June, let me explain why I chose to start with the heart chakra instead of the root chakra, which is the very first one. The heart sits at the center in the middle. It's the connecting chakra between the lower three that ground us to our earthly presence and the upper three chakras that's connecting us with our ethereal selves. My personal opinion, it's a lot easier to balance and harmonize things in other centers when you're coming from a place of love. And so that is the reason why I chose to start with the heart chakra. The heart energy center is the fourth one. Sits so right at the center of our chest. It is associated with chest, upper back, arms, and hands. It is also associated with the circulatory system. Let's dive a little deeper into that one though. The circulatory system, it takes deoxygenated blood from the right part of the heart into the lungs where it removes carbon dioxide and replaces it with oxygen, brings it into the left side of the heart. And then from the left side of the heart, it takes this rich or oxygen rich blood to the rest of the body through the arteries. And then the veins brings back this oxygen poor blood right back into the right part of the heart and the process repeats itself. Now, why would I even give you this information about the cardiovascular system and how it circulates blood? Because it's the same way that our heart chakra keeps itself in balance. There's a give and take. It's love of self and love of others. It's compassion for self and compassion for others. It's non-judgment of self, non-judgment of others. When the heart chakra is balanced, we feel love, which is the highest level of vibration. When it's not in balance, we feel guilty. And maybe there have been times that you've said or thought to yourself that you have a heavy heart. That's a way of knowing that you have a blocked heart energy center. 
the immune system is also associated with the heart chakra. Let's think about what the immune system does. It defends our body from foreign things that don't belong in it, right? So it attacks what doesn't belong. It's a protective mechanism. When we have a balanced heart chakra, we're able to balance our level of vulnerability. But when we don't have that ability to feel vulnerable, there is no balance. We've seen anecdotally that individuals who have a blocked heart chakra have or may experience issues with blood disorders, issues with their chest and mammary glands, upper back problems, issues with the hands, arms, heart and immune system. Here are some things that you can do if you wanna help balance and support your heart chakra. Number one, you can eat green foods. Why green? Because that's the color associated with the heart chakra. Here again, make sure you use your discernment and that you consult your doctor if you have any dietary restrictions. Number two, spend more time in nature and outside. The element associated with the heart is air. And as you would imagine, the lungs, well, the entire body, but the lungs need fresh air and oxygen to refuel. So going outdoors, getting fresh air is very important for your heart energy center. Number three, even if you're not into yoga, back bending poses are a great way to open your heart. Use caution if you're not used to any type of back bends and make sure you seek the proper support to do them if this is an option you're willing to take. And number four, and my favorite one, is you can hug and embrace and show affection for the people who you value and who are closest to you in your life. The sense of touch is the one associated with the heart chakra. Of all of the senses, the first one is the sense of touch. When a baby is born, what do we do? We carry the baby, place him on our chest, and we make skin-to-skin -skin contact. Unfortunately, not everybody has the benefit of that basic element that makes us humans, that allow us to connect. The aging community, for example, they experience at times something called touch starvation. While nutritional deficiencies may play a role and lack of exercise may also contribute and be another culprit to declining health as people age, it doesn't help that they also don't experience the ability all the time to connect with other individuals via the sense of touch. It is a very basic basic need for humans to connect. So it becomes really important for us to be able to nurture self-love and love of others through appropriate touch. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have any information you'd like to share, I'd love to learn from you. Please leave it in the comments below along with any questions that you may have for me. 
Lastly, I am going to do something I've never done before. I'm actually going to comment on this video and I'm going to post links to a couple of different songs in a number of different languages to songs that really make my heart kind of dance. <laughs> you know, it's for me an easy way for me to harmonize my energy centers, especially the heart center through music. And when I start this comment, I welcome and invite all of you to respond with songs that bring you joy and that really help you keep that heart chakra in balance. Until next time, may love and light always guide you. Take care.